I'm in the little wood, also known as Martin. Now I'm in HD today. I'm in the hood. I'm in the, <laughs> I'm in the hood. Yeah, that's a quote. Anyway, so hi. So if you didn't know already, uh, the reason that I'm doing this vlog today is just kind of to make you aware of my second channel now being back in existence. So really, it's my first channel, and this one became my second channel, and it became my main one. But uh, I'm actually reopening in the little woods because I just want to get back to doing vlogs. And on that channel as well, there's a lot of like personal stuff about me. So you know, I'm kind of using it as a method to get to know you the saplings a bit better I reckon stuff like this video which is today a setup video about all the stuff in my bedroom my computer stuff uh, will appear on the main channel and then a lot of vlogs just every other day or maybe every day if I can do it uh, will go up on in the little woods so you'll find a lot of silly stuff over there which is good uh, you'll find a lot of stuff from my past kind of embarrassing but I, you know what I it's weird it's embarrassing but it's also kind of nice to look at it and see how like you know, newbie I was at everything, just like, you know, newbie at life, newbie at dressing, newbie at speaking, newbie at making videos, everything like that, and to see how I've now come to being amateur, so it's, <laughs> it's like one step up the ladder. So uh, before we go into this room today, actually, I've just been tidying up everything to do with fan mail. Those two bags that you can see right there, they're actually purely just like the, the envelopes and rubbish and whatnot so that's everything that's left over and all the mail that I've got is in that one little box here which looks small but I've actually compressed it down quite a lot there's a couple of bits in there as well and now uh, I have this which is really cool bubble wrap so I'm just gonna like put this onto here because I don't know how loud the bang is gonna be I've got this shirt on by the way I'm recording this on St. Patty's Day but uh Oh, yeah, that was a loud one. Probably think I'm in the hood. They probably think there's gunshots going off next door. And... Oh, God. <laughs> I took, like, all my energy to actually do. Anyway, okay, cool. So, right, I'll tell you what. Let's go through into my bedroom, then. I was in the old man's room a second ago. So this is my setup. I've literally just tidied my room today. That desk has never been cleaner. Neither has that one and neither has that one. Uh, but before we show you all my computer stuff, it might be worth showing you my little sort of, like draw things. So basically everything on the top shelf is like memories and business stuff. Uh, second drawer is gaming, so you can probably see here I have just tons and tons of magazines, mainly Games Master. Uh, you can see all the games at the back, I've got loads of like, you know, Xbox games. And then if you actually look here, if I was to take some stuff out, you can see that just below here maybe. No, you can't. Basically, there's, ro there's a row of games going along the back and there's also a row of games going along the floor behind these magazines. Uh, I've got this as well, which is interesting. The Guinness Book of Records for Gaming. It's the very first Gamer Edition one that they did, which uh, which I thought was really nice. So that's that. And then apart from that, I've just got the, the, the last three shelves are just random stuff, which is where I might actually keep the fan mail that everybody sent me to in the little box. So we've got that one there. There, which has got Sonic and it's got my Sonic hat, my Link hat, which is just there. I've actually got the Doverkeen hat in that one for some reason. <laughs> Not entirely sure why it's there. And then you've got more crap and you've got more crap in there as well. So that's essentially that. Uh, and then other than that, let's check out all of my stuff then. So first thing I'm going to show you is my TV and whatnot. I think the TV's like... 27, 28 inches. I, I could afford a bigger one, but the problem is, is that it wouldn't fit. Because, I mean, you see that there. It only just fits my consoles to the right of it. I have all the next-gen ones, by the way. Uh, PS3, Xbox 360, Wii, as you know. Uh, and you can also see a little thing coming out the top of the Wii, because behind here is where it's sort of what I like to call spaghetti junction. There's, <laughs> there's literally everything. I've got a GameCube controller for when I'm playing old-school stuff. I've got this thing, which is a throat mic. Now, a lot of people get confused whenever I tell them about this. I'm just going to turn the screen around so you can see. Okay, so this front mic basically works like the ones in like the navy and stuff. You put it around here and it picks up the vibrations from your throat and then you just pop the little earpiece in. You're like, yo man, I'm on your six and there's a gun there and throw a grenade! And you just do that kind of thing. So there you go, that's that. And other than that, there's not much else going on back there. It's just typical, you know, those are the consoles, that's the TV. You probably notice this little box over here that everything runs through. So this is essentially what I use whenever I want to record any, like, you know, console gaming footage. So I have a cable that goes from the PS3 to that, and then basically what happens is it goes from console to that little box, and then that little box into the TV. So that's the middleman. Now, with that middleman, you can actually use a USB cable to go into my computer, which we like to call the beast, um, and it essentially just 
puts out the video and the audio down one USB cable, which is just brilliant. And then that's kind of where we lead you to this. This is the beast. That's the back of him. And uh, it's got a relatively nice grill on him. If I can move this around a little bit, you'll be able to see how he's got a nice sort of like like arched front, I suppose. I mean, this, this door opens up as well, so you can get an idea of the shape of it. If I were to turn this like that, see how it's got sort of like the curves and the ripples in it. And there's not really anything fancy going off at the front. If I actually turn it around the other way, you'll be able to see the inside of it. If I can do that, or at least get the camera around there to show you very quickly, um, you'll be able to do that. So if I just turn the little screen around, see how you can see inside of there? So there's, I went for red lights as opposed to anything else. I think there was blue ones available. I thought it's either going to be whatever comes as default or I go with green if I could because green would be amazing. Uh, and then yeah, other than that, I mean the computer, if you want to know my specs, it's all on my website in the littlewood.com or you can actually check the channel description as well of this channel and it will tell you on there. Uh, only other thing to show you is my setup really. So this is kind of like, you know, where I spend most of my days really. So I've got the Blue Yeti microphone. Now when I'm recording, I actually bring that round to the front of me. So typically when I'm recording, uh, if I just put the mouse there, I'll have the microphone there. So when I'm speaking, it actually goes over there, but also catches some of the drops. So really I'm not getting any of the pop because I'm speaking forwards, but it's catching that bit just there. So that's really cool. There's a really cool dial on the back of it, you can see. So if you can see me, there we go. We've got this top one here, which is the gain, so basically that's volume up and down if you want to change that. There's this thing here, which actually changes different modes. So the mode it's on now is only capturing from the front of the microphone. Now if I were to choose some of the other ones, it would capture the front and the back. And then there's other ones where it would do it all the way around. And then there's one where it does it directly in the top as well. So it's kind of a nice little selection that you get, I suppose, which is all good. Uh, and then other than that, I've got, I don't really have any fancy mouse and keyboards because I find all the fancy ones are a bit difficult to hold. That one I got not so long ago and it just fits really nicely in your hand because look it just it just rests like that. I can't be doing with these little ones with like buttons all over the place. It's a mouse, it's not a gamepad, you know. If you want gamepad then get that but don't mix it with your mouse, it's just a mess. Uh, and other than that my keyboard, nothing fancy. I have been considering getting one of those ones that lights up so I can have all the lights off in the evening but that's just a really basic uh, Microsoft one, I love the shape of it, I love that the keys are relatively silent as well you get like, you know, zero noise from anything like that uh, I've got a nice Acer monitor, it's about 18... is it 18? about 18, 19 uh, inches just like something else in this room my PS3 when it's on its side um, <laughs> but yeah so that's that and then I also you probably noticed that the sizes are a bit different from the monitors I was going to get another one of these monitors but I probably could fit it in the width of here but then I have literally zero space around it so I decided to drag out an old monitor of mine from an old computer uh, that was in the loft and this is this one it's just a nice little square piece and I actually prefer it as well because the resolution on it is lower so everything looks bigger because obviously the resolution's lower, everything just like sort of like grows outward. Um, which actually helps because when I'm doing the live streams, I've got a really nice crisp gaming display, but then I've got huge wording on here when I'm looking at the live stream chat. So it's kind of ideal really, and you might have noticed this as well, this little thing that's sat here. This is actually a wireless Wii sensor bar, which is pretty cool. I've never, oh my god, this camera picks those up. See those little dots in there? I can't see those in real life. Oh, that's kind of scary. Oh god, okay. <laughs> well, anyway, power off. Do they turn off with the power? Oh my god, they do. I suppose that's how candles work. If you've never seen it before, make sure you do a quick look for candles for a Wiimote. Because essentially what I never knew, actually, about the Wiimote sense bar is that this little thing here is completely independent to the Wii. Like, the only reason that it plugs into the Wii is because it's a constant power source for the average home user. Whereas if I want to use it on my computer, like I often do, I play Wii games on my computer because one, I get higher graphics, and two, um, it's just easier than turning lots of different things on. But you can actually have it, so, um, you know, the Wiimote is completely separate. So the Wiimote is what handles everything. This is basically like an invisible wall, and then wherever the Wiimote hits that invisible wall, it processes everything inside of the remote itself and sends that to the Wii. So the only reason that it's ever plugged in is just because it needs that constant power source to keep it on. Because if you look at this one, uh, rather than having a power source that plugs into the console or the mains, it just runs off little AA ba uh, AAA batteries. Runs off like, I think maybe four of them, something like that. Uh, which is why I have that bad boy just down there. 
I have tons and tons and tons of uh, rechargeable AAA batteries because I need them for the sensor bar, I need them for my headphones because these are my Dre Beat headphones, they're really nice, the sound quality is absolutely amazing. And a lot of people have asked why I have these and it's mainly because I was coming back from America, I'd won some money in the ar in the casino, I was about to call it the arcade, <laughs> but, um, but yeah I could not wear Apple earphones for a second longer so I decided to buy these and they were really comfy, they're still comfy to this day. That's the one thing I'd say about them is that the cushions on them never press down, they always bounce back. So they always feel like a new pair whenever you put them on, which is just brilliant. And another thing to note as well about how good they are at noise cancellation, they do that. And with combined with this, it's perfect because... If I were to wear these and do a commentary, I can't hear my own voice, I can only hear what's coming out of the computer. But with a Blue Yeti, it has this like instant feedback, you can probably see the light on it's flashing at the minute because it's got a mute button on the front, so that means it's on now. Um, and yeah, and you can actually hear your own voice back in real time, there's zero latency because it's all done within the, the microphone itself. And, uh, and yeah, that's another good thing to note about the Blue Yeti. My old microphone, by the way, is just underneath there the Samsung C01U. It's actually still plugged in and turned on, so sometimes when I record I choose the wrong microphone, which can get a little bit annoying. But uh, yeah, other than that, that is my setup. Let me know what you reckon to it. It's nothing particularly special. Uh, the computer itself was about 800 to 850, but I still haven't bought a cooling fan for it. I'm still using the stock cooler, which a lot of people I know will rage about. But uh, I am buying one of those soon. I get all my parts from a website called ebuyer.com, if you want to know about that. And, uh, yeah, it's all good. Oh, fast, last thing to show you here, look. That's a really awesome thing that I got in, in the little box today when I was recording. And diamonds to you, sir! Ah, well, you, you only saw the cobbles. And diamonds to you, sir! <laughs> but anyway, I've only got two minutes left on this battery, so I'm going to go before it dies. Uh, make sure you check out my second channel. Loads of vlogs are going to be going up on there, so you can get to know me as a person, as well as ask me questions. You know, it's all about connection between the two of us so have a good day i don't know when i'm going to be posting this video but uh have a good saint patrick's day if it's gone have a good mother's day in the uk if it's gone and i shall see you all in a little bit hey my dwarf bye